Hi, I'm just me. Hi, and I'm Ral Gash. And we are here with a movie review of... I am so prepared for this. <laughs> we are here with a movie review of... The Tingler. Starring Vincent Price. Do you see Vincent Price? Okay. <laughs> I love this movie. It is one of my favorite movies. It's, um, it's about a, it's about a scientist who's researching the phenomenon of fear. And, um, apparently there's a parasitic type creature that feeds on fear. And if it gets too strong, it, like, breaks your neck. So... And your back. And they call it the tingler because you know you're being attacked by the tingles up and down your spine from being so afraid. <laughs> and the only way to stop it is to scream. Scream as loud as you can. I love it. Yeah. In the original release, um... Like the theater release, <laughs> it was a gimmick that some of the seats in the audience were rigged with electric shock. Yeah. So as you're watching the movie, there's one point where the creature escapes into the theater. <laughs> the screen goes black, there's only audio, and if you had been in a theater, people around you would have been screaming, you might have been screaming from this like electric shock, just this little thing going up your spine. <laughs> um, that kind of audience like audience participation yeah. <laughs> i love it i wish i was there yeah oh i remember some <laughs> movies that do that you ever watch the rocky horror picture show in a theater no oh but yeah same idea um the actual movie itself i love i love the actors it's well acted it's fairly well scripted It's just, it's a great old movie. The effects are pathetic by today's standards. Brilliant yeah, for yeah, the time. Yeah. This is a little monster puppet kind of like wiggling along <laughs> trying to look menacing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the use of color in this movie is probably one of my favorite things in the universe. It's just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. And I don't know if I should ruin it, but it's in black and white. And their use of color is amazing. Yeah. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this movie. It's interesting when you see it. Mm. Well, it's unique. It's original. You don't... Like, even by today's standards, it is still something unique. No one has tried to remake this and murder it. Don't remake this. Maybe remaster this. And re-release, like they did The Exorcist, I would so, so pay money for that. I'm just saying. <laughs> People would all have to like sign waivers and stuff though. Suck all the fun out of it. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, in today's world. I've been rambling. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, you know what? I hear that in the year 2028, there's going to be a time machine invented. What we'll do is we'll go on a tour. And we'll go to the theater where this is released. And go watch it ourselves. And get an autograph. <laughs> and a selfie, because that's not going to break all of the time travel rules. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how do you feel about the movie? I, I thought it was unique. It's different. I, I'm I'm not sure how to best describe it other than this is something some people have got to see because for them to come up with something like this at that time and I don't know how this never caught on as like a cult classic or whatever really 
because nobody knows. Even if you take out the part, the gimmicky part about the theater, it is still an amazing movie. I would still love to watch this movie, even without the electric shocks. <laughs> I want to see it with the electric shocks. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see people get shocked. I don't want to get shocked. I just want to see people <laughs> get shocked. Cook love to get shocked. Just yeah, a great story. Okay, you can sit next to me and be shocked. I'm going to just scream if you're shocked or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because screaming weekends and or kills the tingler. I don't know if we had made that clear. We're just kind yeah. of rambling about what we would want to do if it were a thing. Oh, and you know, too, like, sometimes when people scream, it's it's catching. So, I guess that's really everything I have to say about this. I highly recommend that you seek this out and watch it. The Tangler yeah. starring Vincent Price. Yeah, if you can get it on Netflix or whatever. So, I guess this happened? Like this if you like this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos, Mondays and Fridays. Hit the notification button and just keep showing up on Mondays and Fridays. We're usually here. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, comment below. Let us know what you thought of uh, our review. Have you ever watched The Tingler? Do you love Vincent Price? What's your favorite Vincent Price movie? Yeah. What is your favorite Vincent Price movie? All of them! <laughs> <laughs> uh... God, also, too, if there's, if there's anything you would like to see us doing, comment that below as well. And on any of our videos, just comment on it. We'll get the message. We can't promise we'll do it, but we might. Yeah. You never know. It might not be too crazy. A viewer request is literally the only reason we have an ASMR video. <laughs> <laughs> Please never make me edit another ASMR video. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they really liked it. Yeah, I know, it was really popular. <laughs> the kids fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I guess bye. Bye! bye. We forgot to tell them what's happening next time. <gasps> what's oh, happening well. next time? This Tokyo treat we've got sitting here. <laughs> <laughs>